Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for presenting early. Yes, it came. Well, I'll call this a day late and a day early because it originally said it was gonna be here on Thursday. Then that evening I got the notice that it's gonna be here Friday. And I was like, what? Then got another one said it was gonna be Saturday. And I was not happy about that. But you know what? We waited and it wasn't that long of a wait. But then as of this morning, it said, delivering on Friday, out for delivery. <laughs> the Black Russian has arrived. There is a beast in there. And he wants out. I think it's a black Russian. He wants out. So let's let him out. All right, guys. So obviously we know what this is. This is the beast. This is the free wing MiG-29 that's been out now for just a little over a week. And you know, I've been watching a lot of unboxings the last week or so, and I've seen a few maidens. But mine's been sitting in the box for a minute because, uh, you know, life. So anyway, I have to start today after watching Jeff's Custom RC's uh, unboxing. He got me all excited. I thought I better get this thing open. The beast is sitting in here just waiting. I can hear it roaring inside the box. So I just have to get it open tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this thing. It has not, as you can see, it has not been touched yet. Not been touched at all. So we are going to uh, go ahead and get this open and put down my, my Russian bike and uh, get this puppy open. All right, see, what's, uh, she was, see what she looks like on the inside. So the typical famous blue free wing tape that we get from Motion RC. Always I'd like to see the blue tape arrive. You know you're getting something special when the blue tape shows up at the front door. So this has been uh, under wraps obviously for a very long time because uh, they surprised us with it. Actually two uh, jets in a row. Uh, that would be the, the free wing MiG-29 and, and also they're putting out a, uh, another jet uh, that, that's coming out and uh, it is called the Gripen. I cannot wait for the Gripen to come out. Of course, I have a mug that has a gripping on it, and I cannot wait for that plane to come out. I'm not sure exactly when I'll get it, but eventually I will. But for now, the MiG-29. So let's see what we got here. It is a, uh, I'm, I'm amazed at how they pack these things these days. I know um, Alpha says that there is a whole different team that designs the boxes for these to make these things fit. And I cannot tell you how impressed I am with how small the box actually is. Uh, especially knowing that the jet itself, they say, is the biggest one they made. So if it's bigger than the, if it's bigger than the A-10, uh, that's a pretty big plane. So uh, we're gonna see if we can get this out of here. But uh, I, like I said, I'm impressed that that much plane is inside this little box. So we see how they packed it. So we got the outside box, we'll toss that out out of the way and let's see I'm pretty sure we got plenty of tape on this thing so this is what it looks like uh, when it comes because you've seen a lot of these already but they didn't do a whole lot to the box this time um, they didn't put any you know outlines of the plane though actually there is one sort of ghosted in there I don't know if you can see that or not but it's barely ghosted in there um, but uh, not typical like they usually do, but uh, it is ghosted in there. But you can see this, this is the MiG-29 Fulcrum. So I don't know how many guys are actually uh, picking up this plane on the first run, but I did do the first run. Uh, you know, you always take a chance too when you do the first run, hoping that uh, not a whole lot of things are wrong. And uh, of course we did get one notification and 
mine did arrive today. That is the replacement uh, servos for the elevator. So we get those puppies loaded in as well. Again, I am really impressed with the fact that that much plane is inside this box. I really am. So, with everything off the top, we have our, looks like our decals. That's probably where the tigers are. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put those on there yet or not. Got a manual, obviously. And take off my Russian shade so I can see this. Wow, what a, what a beauty. Amazing. That's a lot of plane packed in there. Anyway, you guys have already seen this, but this is what it comes like. So I'm just gonna take everything out and then lay it out. So I'll, uh, I'll get this laid out and uh, show you up close what everything looks like, quickly. All right guys, so uh, I have gotten everything off the top, but uh, this is the part of the fuse, <laughs> which is what's amazing. It's only part of the fuse. This is the rear section. Uh, and of course, here are the uh, rudders there, tail section. Uh, and then there's about another, uh, I would say about another uh, 14, 15 inches, 16 inches maybe this way. That is a pretty big plane. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's 73, almost 74 inches long. So uh, uh, good size, can't wait to get it out. All right guys, time to get out of this hot hat. Put on the flying ant hat. All right, so this is what we got. This is not meant to be a long video because there's enough unboxing videos out there, but did just want you to see that I too got the MiG-29 and I will be putting it together here very soon uh, and get it up in the air with a maiden. Uh, but uh, this is what she looks like uh, out of the packaging. Uh, this is the fuse and boy, what a beauty it is. I love this finish. Um, big body, um, flat, kind of like the F-14. Um, I don't own the 14, but Crazy One does. It kind of reminds me of that. But uh, I cannot wait to get into this. Got the uh, underside here. Big, uh, really big beefy wheels on there and uh, struts. So uh, I can't wait to get my hands inside there and, and get everything uh, put together. I have some things I want to do to it. So that's what that looks like uh, so far. And then we have the wings and uh, they look really good. So I'll take one out of the package just so that, just for good measure. Where is my knife? Here, knifey, knifey. Where is my knife? I know it's around here somewhere. I feel like Skip now. Skip's always losing stuff in his video. <laughs> That's why we love Skip. Thanks, Chris. Yep. We got a pair of scissors here. That'll work. Pays to have a good non-paid staff member. All right, let's see. This looks really good in here. I'm really excited about the way this looks. Yeah, that is a, uh, that's a nice finish. I see just a, just a few blemishes uh, on this top part up here, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it's very slight, nothing's ever perfect. There's a CG mark there. Great job there. But yeah, very nice finish. Love the hinges. Very nice. So that's what uh, one of the wings looks like. Here is an elevator. And they are full flying stabs. Again, guys, I'm not gonna make this long. I'm just gonna pop this out real quick. Show you that uh, mine also came in relatively good shape. And uh, I might try to put this together tonight, we'll see. But uh, there's one of the 
one of the elevators, that's the, the right side. Really nice, all right. And then, of course, the, the rudder. Got a big, nice rudder there. And you know what, uh, what I love about this too is that, is that digital camo uh, should show up nicely in the air. Uh, I've never owned a digital camo uh, before. So I'm excited to see this and it's big enough that uh, even if it the colors get lost up there the shape of the plane will keep uh, will help you keep uh, a good eye on it you won't lose orientation I don't think too well uh, but anyway that is really nice I'm really loving that uh, that that uh, imprint there and the way they did this that is really sweet and I bet that's gonna fit very nicely but anyway that's uh, that's what it looks like uh, big, uh, big, big wing spar there. Uh, really nice there. And here is the front section of the of the fuselage. Got your parts there, battery tray stuff there, and uh, then the nose cone goes here. So that is uh, that's going to be a good size. Uh, again, that's another wow. Yeah, about another 16, uh, 17, 18 inches there. Uh, on the front of that so that's gonna be a really good size there so i'm really excited about this uh, alpha again knocked another one out of the park i'm excited to get this uh get this put together i will do my best to try to get this done as soon as possible and uh, all the guys of course have been talking about how long <laughs> this uh this cockpit area is uh that is a very long i remember when i first started flying planes i had planes that weren't that long <laughs> The wingspan probably wasn't even that wide uh, when I started flying. No, it wasn't. I had a little uh, um, hobby zone champ, and uh, it was about maybe that wingspan right there. And now I have a cockpit that's uh, that's bigger than that. But anyway, this is going to be a nice uh, a nice addition to the fleet, and uh, I cannot wait to do some things too that I want to do. So this is just a, a few small things I want to do to it, uh, just to kind of customize it just just slightly. Uh, I won't get all all hectic with it. Uh, but uh, cannot wait to get this put together. Thank you, Motion RC. Thank you, Alpha. Thank you, Freewing. So I will do my best to get uh, this put together and get a maiden done as fast as I can. Chris, thank you so much for filming for me, brother. And uh, I'll be coming right back at you real soon. Flying it as the Black Russian, coming back at you again. Have a good night. Yeah.